Hey, Pierre. Um, is it a case of mixed emotions? Because obviously you got your first point of the season today, which is great, but obviously there was that contact right at the start and that must have caused some unfortunate damage to your car to limit your progress. Um, right now, I must say I'm very pleased and, uh, and very relieved um, for the whole team because we knew Monaco was a, was a place where there will be an opportunity even if we struggle with the cars in the start of the year. You know, Monaco is quite special and... Uh, we managed to seize the opportunity yesterday in, in, with that first Q3, um, and it was important to capitalize on um, on that, and, and that's what we did. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't as uh, how to call it peaceful as we 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 had planned, and uh, yeah, I don't want to go into too much details, but um, yeah, it's it's just. These things should not happen, and, and you know it was a uh, clear uh, instructions from the team on what to do and, and what we were supposed to do, and uh, and this wasn't respected. So yeah, I'm I'm just glad we managed to get out of it with only um, you know some front wing damage and and a couple of things, and luckily with the red flag we managed to repair. But uh, yeah, it, sh it should not happen. For what it's worth, Esteban said on Twitter it was his fault. He's apologised. I guess this is the kind of thing you'll go away as a team now, have a chat, and. I ideally hope that this doesn't happen again. Yeah, that's the, that's the most important and we got to make sure we, we can't afford as a team to, to risk uh, to have both cars out and, and you know potentially we could have maybe score points with both cars and uh, yeah, we'll, um, we'll talk about it and I'm sure we'll move on and, um, and find solutions in the future.